Welcome to part two, the unknown part. Uh, what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna go through all the tests, um, gonna tell you which one they are. Uh, feel free to pause at any time and rewatch if you need, because you wanna get this right, because uh, this is the bulk of the points for the lab. And again, as a reminder as well, feel free to watch any of those other parts as well, okay? So, first thing I wanna do is show you what they look like. Unknown one. Unknown two. Maybe it should be more appropriate to show you it's not white, like that one. Unknown three. And unknown four. Kind of clumpy. There we go. And how it moves. Under a microscope. Some bigger chunks. Some smaller chunks. Unknown two. Kind of a yellow thing. But it's mostly like this. Unknown three. Unknown four. I can find it. Oh my word, where'd it go? Got a few pieces. Okay, seeing, actually looks like there's a lot of clear here with some red. Huh. That was the structure test. Now, as I set up the camera, we're gonna be primarily looking at the texture test. So, back to unknown number one. Unknown number one, crushed extremely easy. As you can see now, it is a powder. Unknown two. Unknown two, it looks like some of the pieces of powder didn't even come out. Uh, there were a few little pieces that crushed, but overall it kind of stayed like a powder. Unknown three. That's nothing, nothing happened. And the red one, number four, in. Oh yeah, that, that crushed. Way finer now. That brings us to the heat test. And again, feel free to watch any of these again as you need. A known one. Um, nothing, still white. Uh, covalent, oh, not covalent, sorry. 
I'm looking at the uh, I'm looking at Covalent 2 right now. Um, this is unknown to I apologize. Oh. Ah, we rec we recognize that. It's a burn. Um, unknown three. This is the brown one. Um, I would say slightly toward the end where the flame was, slightly blackened. Other than that, it doesn't look like anything happened, and I know it's hard for you to tell. It's slightly blackened on the end, otherwise nothing. And then the red one. Uh, this one made a big mess again, um, similar to one of the other ones, but yeah, nothing. It just fell off. Uh, there's a few pieces I'm looking at on the table. I know you can't see them. Nothing happened. Next test is again the solubility one. So I'm gonna add a little bit of water to all of these and we'll see what happens. So again, I'm gonna readjust these. And I'm gonna get these out of your way so you can see a little better. But I am gonna add water now to all of these. And again, feel free to rewatch as needed. I'm gonna let them sit for a little bit. before I stir. Initial thoughts for you to look at. That one is clear. Ionic 2 is not clear. Not clear. And this one, it's hard to tell. I'm gonna zoom out. And now I'm going to stir those. Unknown one, dissolve completely. Uh, I'll let that speak for itself. I'll let that speak for itself. Uh, the red one is a little hard to see, a little dark, so I'm going to weaken it so you guys can see it better. This will not change the outcome. And even though it is red, and I know it's hard to see, there is not a lot at the bottom. Again, I know you probably won't be able to see that very well. It did dissolve a lot of it. I would say at least 80%. There's very little left. And it is red and it is clear, as so you can see through the bottom. You guys can see my finger through the bottom. So if that helps anybody, you can see my finger through the bottom of four. You cannot through three. You cannot through two. And you can through one. Those are 
your four tests, and now the fifth one. Conductivity, starting with one. So again, I'm going to wipe those off. We do that one more time. And that are the unknowns. The lab is up to you now. Make sure you're explaining why you believe each one is either ionic or covalent, ionic or covalent, ionic or covalent, ionic or covalent. And maybe for funsies, we'll let you know what these are um, in the future. Um, again, rewatch that as needed. Thank you guys so much.